everybody. Welcome back to Uninhibited, the web series dedicated to forensic DNA. Brought to you by me, Peter John McEnany. That's stupid. And my fellow field application scientist, Nick Andrews. Two former DNA analysts turned FAS for Thermo Fisher Scientific. <laughs> what is going on over there, Nick? I've got 784 words for you. The Applied Biosystems Gene Mapper IDX software. Okay. Oh. What's really going on? I've just been getting loads of troubleshooting cases lately and the data analysis is killing me. So did you install the latest patch? Yes, and it did nothing. What about the latest keyboard shortcut? No, let me try that. Okay, it did absolutely, oh wait, what is that? Hey, I'm Peter G your helpful new DNA analysis software friend. Peter John, what are you doing on my computer? What are you talking about? Wow, Tom, this screen is freaking tiny. Okay, my name is Nick, you rude little interrupty. Ooh, no need to get rude, Phil. You Are sure you wanna perform data analysis this way? This is the only screen I have. Okay, Jerry, I guess we'll have to live with this. I told you, my name is Nick. Let's get started, huh? I see you've imported some samples. Everything set up the way you want? And no, I actually need to sort my samples. Okay, Jerome, you take your time, huh? Are you actually typing? John, you do you. Ah, I got it wrong. Hang on, I need to start over. Okay, do you know what a keyboard is? Why on earth is Quicker, this? please. Are you typing? <sighs> I don't see anything. I see we're gonna be here for a while. This will be a lot easier, Todd, if you had the right equipment and a little bit of Peter G know-how. You know what I'm saying? What? Hey, don't sweat it, Nigel. Anywho, let's just move on, Slowpoke. What? Holy OLs. It's like an off-ladder allele's warm Christmas in here. All right, I know I've got some editing to do. Bro, do you even do interpretations? Let's just move on and print these janky egrams. Oh, well, I would love to print them, but every time I try and print a PDF, it breaks up into multiple 10-page files of egrams. What am I doing wrong? Oh boy, you really are hopeless. All right, it's going out the window. What? Hey, what are you doing? I just ate. Oh, this is gonna leave a mark. Ugh. Wait, 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 I'm Nick, don't do that. Fine. It's fixable. Fine, but remind me to never use any keyboard shortcuts you suggest ever again. And how about I just give you all of my cases? That would be much better. Uh, Heal? no. But how about I just show you how to achieve super user status? Like me. <laughs> Delusional. <coughs> no, seriously though. There's so many ways to increase your productivity. If you wanna keep struggling, stop watching now. Or, Sit back and let me show you how to get the most out of your GeneMapper IDX software. Peter John's super best, most awesome GeneMapper IDX software tips and tricks. I call this tip, broaden your horizons. To achieve true super user status, you could use only one really, really big monitor. Check this out. When I'm at home, I get my work done on this guy with a total resolution of over 11 million pixels. Five times larger than the average monitor, I can have both my program window and my display plot window open on the same screen at the same time with pixels to spare. Well, congrats on your obnoxiously large monitor. But are you saying that everyone should be getting bigger monitors? Not necessarily. Any sized extra monitor will help you be more productive and efficient, but just using your laptop screen alone is like putting a chokehold on your data analysis software. With the GMapper IDX software program window on your laptop screen, you can use a secondary monitor for the display plot window. And depending on your preference, you can even put that secondary monitor in portrait mode to maximize your data analysis experience. I do have a couple of spare monitors I could be using. Right. So now that we've covered some extra monitors and your equipment's all set up, let's talk about speeding things up in the software. This tip is called sort it out. Yeah, that Nigel really needs this one. Who is Nigel? Make it easy to sort your samples. Go to File, Project Options, 
and under the add samples table or tab, choose set sample type two and read from data collection info field. This one will allow you to automatically sort and include the information from the sample info field and populate the sample type field. So you don't have to manually change those values if that information is in your sample info tab. Once you have that information, as you can see here, we're not really sorted. We have things kind of dispersed. The long way is to go edit, sort, and then choose the columns that you would like to sort by. And if I choose sample type here, ascending, all of the sudden, now my sample type column is sorted, ascending. Okay. But that of course is tedious to go edit, sort, and you could get this wrong, have to click a million times just to figure that out. So why not do it faster by having a table setting that will automatically have that for you. So let's check out this one called Nick is a loser. Interesting. And that one automatically has it sorted as well. And if we go here to the table settings editor and we go to the samples tab, we can see that sort by sample type ascending is already selected. You could choose to do a second sort by sample name. We'll click OK here and then you'll see it automatically sorted by sample name as well after it's sorted by sample type. And if that's not fast enough for you, try holding down the shift key and then clicking on the header for that column. The first time you click it, it will sort ascending. The second time you click, it will sort descending. Same thing goes for any column. Just hold down the shift key and click on that header and it will automatically sort for you. Oh, nice. Never knew you could do that. Yeah, I noticed. I call the next one search and destroy. Ooh, I love Battleship. With this, you can evaluate every OL label in your project before peer review. Select the genotypes table, then choose edit, find, or use the keyboard shortcut control F. And in the find what section, choose OL. And in the allele section. Choose find all to highlight all of the off ladder peaks in your project all the same time. Ooh, look at all those pesky OLs. I wish I would have known about this sooner. Yeah, and use display plot to quickly look at all those peaks. Ah, huh, that is pretty cool. Here's something I bet you never knew you could do in the GeneMapper IDX software. I call this one bias removal. Follow these steps to remove bias from your technical review process. The first thing you'll need to do is duplicate your run folder to make an identical copy of your HID files. Get your technical reviewer to create their own project from the run folder copy. This is where they'll make their edits. Merge the two projects to begin the technical review process. Import project number two from GMIDX database. Go to view and select move non-concordant samples to the top. Click on the display plot button to see electropharograms and compare non-concordance between the two projects. Well, that ought to take the pressure out of technical review, huh? Now are you impressed? Yeah, like Christmas in July. <laughs> well, then this will probably push you over the edge. Here's my biggest tip. I'm still thinking of a name for this one, though. How about Nick don't know sh Hey, my mom thinks I'm intelligent, I think. Nigel, I mean Nick, here's how you can print all of your egrams into one PDF file. You'll need some third-party PDF software to make this happen. Choose File, then Print, and choose all of the 10-page PDFs that you want to merge. When you save it, you'll end up with one PDF that contains all of your selected 
eGramps. Peter John Super Best, Most Awesome GMAP RIDX Software Tips and Tricks. Thanks, Peter John. Anyone struggling with data analysis productivity should give these tips a try. Or if you have specific questions about GMAP or IDX software, just reach out to us. <clears throat> oh, hey, yeah. So sorry. Uh, contact us via email or contact your local field application scientist or account manager. Sign us off, St. Nick. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Uninhibited. Let's get you some help, Peter John. Hey, did we get Peter Jean to sign a confidentiality agreement, huh? Nothing's changed, Peter John. I know. I don't have any pictures. I'm looking for something. Make it fun. It'd be funny if you were like in the inside of a cab or something. Hey, I'm still a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm Are a wagon. there yet? <laughs> Do you want a gummy worm? <laughs> How you doing out there, huh? I've got 780 pole worlds for you. You buy biosystems, game up on your software. Hey, you main suspect right there, huh? Who done it? Is that 007? No, that's example data is what that is. Who's example data? My friend Joe. Joe Schmo. What? Going out the window. Wait, hold on, where are we going? I just ate lunch. Oh, this is gonna hurt. That was horrible, wasn't it? <laughs> wow, Tom. This screen is freaking tiny. Oh, it's Nick, you rude little <laughs> bastard. I would, but every time I try and print them, I messed up my line. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> I'm losing my voice over here, because you're not saying your lines. I'm just going to eat really intently. <laughs> I make eye contact as well. Right. Oh. Mm. <laughs> this is a so good. You're world famous, you know. World famous. <laughs>